sailing around the world. It has captured the imagination of explorers for centuries. But now, for the first time, this crew is doing it using only solar energy. No sails, no fuel, and no backup boats. They have been at sea 10 months and have crossed three oceans without any harm to the environment. This is an expedition around the world, but it's a new way of doing it. Uh, we don't race or we don't discover like did uh, Columbus and Magellan. We, we do it without a trace of any uh, fossil fuels. So it's a, it's a new generation of, of expedition. Erwan has operated everything from speedboats to cruise liners, and he says he's impressed. Yeah, I'm very, very enthusiastic, very surprised, in fact, uh, because it's, it's such a great pleasure to be on such a boat. Uh, it's silent. Everything, all the technology is working perfectly fine. The project does have limitations, though. This boat is slower than others of similar size. It doesn't work in gray and stormy climates. And solar panels alone are just not enough to power the bigger ships used in international commerce. Shortcomings aside, the team is focused on getting out their main message, that sea transport and environmental protection are compatible. Our job is to give an impulse to the leader, to the politic people, to the government, to the businessman, that if we have the technologies and if we have the energy to change, they have to take this message, this opportunity to change renewable energies, it, is, it will never stop. Not like the oil or the gas, one day it will stop. This business, it is almost forever. After leaving Doha, Planet Solar's round-the-world journey could be a success after two more months of navigation. Convincing the maritime industry about the advantages of solar power will take more time than that. Casey Kaufman, Al Jazeera, Doha, Qatar.